All right, guys, I want to quick show you how to sign into Delta Math and how to use Delta Math effectively. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the link that is uh, in Google Classroom, and that will take you to a page that looks something like this. Now, notice it has teacher's name and your period. If either one of those things is incorrect, um, you can reach out to me about that. But it should, should have both my name and the correct period on it. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on register with Google. So you're going to go ahead and click that here. And once you do that, it will ask for your username and your password. Uh, now, notice it didn't do it for me because I've already signed in once before. And if you do it correctly, it should show up with some assignments. Now, these may be the assignments you have. It may not be. Uh, but a couple quick things. Notice the due date is listed down below. So that's something to keep an eye on. And then also notice that just because it's one day's worth of work, it doesn't mean it's only one of these. Notice in this case, I've got two different assignments that are due on the 13th. That means both of these are assigned. Once they become late, they'll uh, change colors. And then once they become past due and not available to turn in, I believe uh, it also changes a, a third color, I believe. Um, now, uh, what I want you to do is, well, let me just show you. Uh, say I say you need to complete an assignment. So here's an assignment, uh, plotting one zero. So a couple nice things about Delta Math. Um, say I don't remember how to do this. What I can do is I can click watch a help video. Okay, and they have these videos already embedded for these particular problems. So if you think you know how to do it, go ahead and try it without watching the video. If you're not sure how to do it, go ahead and and click watch video, watch the video. Another way to get some help, uh, let's go back here, and let's say, I've, uh, let's say I've watched the video and it hasn't helped, or I haven't watched the video and wanna try something else, you can also click this show example problem. Now this one's pretty pretty, uh, pretty clever. So I'm supposed to graph 10, five, and notice it goes over 10, and then it goes up five. And so they're gonna to try to show you an example of how to complete a problem. So I can go back to my original problem, or I can hit next example if I didn't quite feel I got it from there. All right, the third way, um, and this is kind of the, the last way, is you can hit C solution. Now you might as, uh, some of these you might just be better off guessing or trying on your own before you hit C solution, but they'll also show you the solution as well. So those are three different ways uh, to, to uh, work your way through these Delta Math problems. And, and once you get five out of five, it'll say, hey, great job, you got five out of five, and then you need to go back and move on to the next one. Now, a lot of you are probably familiar with Delta Math. You already know that, but I did want to review this in case you're new to Delta Math, or maybe uh, we, you weren't aware that some of these features existed. So um, at this point, you can go ahead and get signed into Delta Math and start working on your assignments.